Hello guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new vlog. I'm thinking today is just going to probably be an at home day, chilled vlog. So I hope you guys enjoy those kind of vlogs. They're some of my favourite to watch. So yeah, it's going to be a very chill today, pottering around the house doing bits and bobs, doing some organising, that kind of thing. And yeah, excuse the fact that I'm still in my dressing gown. I have pretty much only just got up, got ready for the day. Well, I have taken the dog out already, but um, got back, got showered, got ready for the day. And yeah, I still need to get dressed, so excuse that. But I wanted to do some try-on clips this morning because I've got some clothes that have arrived from Cupshe and they are very kindly sponsoring this part of today's video which is very exciting because I've never actually worked with Cupshe before but I've seen so many of my favourite YouTubers and Instagrammers um, working with them recently so I was more than happy to give them a try have a look through their website, pick out some favorites and share them with you guys. So they do actually have their summer sales running currently where you can save up to like 80% off some amazing deals. And I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit dubious and a little bit skeptical over quality with the low price points. But let me tell you, I was very, very pleasantly surprised. Not only do they have sales running, but I also have a discount code for you guys, which is Freya15. Any orders over £49, you can get that 15% um, off. So make sure to use that. I'll leave a link in the description box below to Cupshe and the items that I feature. But to be honest with you, I thought Cupshe was just swimwear. Um, it's definitely not. I have just got some gorgeous dresses from them, um, like summery dresses, beach dresses, swim cover-ups. I have got some swim stuff, which they actually sent me as a bit of a wild card. I didn't pick them out. So we'll show you, I'll show you those things that they picked out for me. Um, after I've shown you the dresses that I picked out from the website. Okay, I'm gonna start with the dress that I was most excited to receive through the mail and try it on, and it is this beautiful double layered, oh, it's so stunning, um, dress, which is like a kind of mini dress, I would say, but it's got this double lining whereby you've got the nude slip underneath and then this beautiful embroidered lace over the top. So it's quite, dramatic and floaty and flowy on the bottom which I love but then quite low and deep cut on the front and the back as well actually. The straps are adjustable which is great because you can kind of choose how low you want the like the low V, it's up to you. I picked everything up in a medium. I'm a size UK 10 typically, sometimes a 12 on the bottom. Yeah absolutely stunning dress that one. Probably my favourite from the entire this was a close second favourite, this beautiful dress from Cupshe, obviously. This one is like a long mid-axi, I'm going to say, mid-axi length, and it's got this like extra frill hem along the bottom. Again, really pretty in terms of the style, the cut, the actual design as well, the fabric. It's not too floral, it's just a very subtle hint of floral and the blue is like a really nice beautiful kind of cornflower blue that I just think is quite subtle it's not too like bright and bold and then again straps with these tie bows allows them to be adjustable got a kind of sharing on the back so again nice and stretchy and forgiving I would actually say size down in this one I think I could have got away with a small oh just hit my face it's double lined which means it's not sh sheer at all and then I got this dress very much as like a lounging slouchy shirt dress it's short sleeve and it's got this kind of like knot detail in the middle it's quite boxy and oversized in fit and when I wear this because it's quite thin and lightweight it feels like it's going to be one of those dresses that especially in the UK when we have a heat wave with no air conditioning and you just want loose floaty you know what I'm saying this is gonna be a dress that's gonna be perfect for that. It's just so light and comfortable. I also picked up this dress. Again, the only thing with this one is the um, tie waist here. It's it's like a, it's already, it's got elasticated stretch of it. So this isn't actually a tie waist. So I would say again with this one, if you're in between sizes, go for the smaller option of the two, because I would have liked the option to just have it a little bit more cinched in on the waist. It's still perfectly comfortable, fine, fits me though. So I will still, get my wear out of it, but that's the only thing I would say about this one. 
I've got a few khaki options actually. I'm still absolutely loving wearing khaki. I always have done to be fair. Khaki is just such a nice colour to wear, especially with a tan in summer or autumn as well. It's giving autumn vibes as well. So either way, um, yeah, this dress is nice and lightweight. It's a very simple v-neck. It's got that same kind of elasticated waist, but this one does fit me. Um, crochet kind of hem along the bottom with a slight, just a mini little split up the front. I did also get another kind of mid axi maxi dress in this blue and white stripe. And again, this kind of blue is like a denim blue. It's not too cobalt, it's not a baby blue, but I just feel like this blue or any kind of blue, if you've got fair eyes, it kind of brings out the blue in your eyes. That's, how, that's what I'm telling myself anyway. This one's got a really nice frilly kind of shoulder. If you love a kind of dramatic shoulder, then I feel like you'll like this one. Nice square neckline. And again, super stretchy, very comfortable. And that one is a kind of, it has a feel to it that's a, a little bit like linen. And then I got this play suit, which I'm thinking is very much like a holiday play suit. It's quite short. So I probably only would wear it like around the beach, around the pool. This could be really nice to like pair with some sandals, a hat, straw bag. Really pretty, striped kind of aztec striped design and I love the tones of that one. Another khaki number. I do wish I'd sized up in this one because I wanted it a bit more oversized and floaty. It still is floaty but around my kind of like bum and thigh area I am a little bit bigger and it just ever so slightly catches so I just wish that I, I'd have sized up in it for a really loose oversized fit for like a beach cover-up perfect for that. It's a beautiful fabric, really nice and soft and kind of that cheesecloth-y material. A couple more play suits actually that I got and again both in khaki is this one which is probably my favourite of the two. It's a again v-neck, you could wear it slightly off shoulder because it's got this one of these like invisible buttons in like a clear so you can't really see it so if you did want to undo the button and have it really like low off shoulder especially if you're wanting it as beach wear this one's more of a darker khaki i would say like a real deep olive green and it's also got a bit more detailing to it so it's got this crochet kind of neckline this double frilled uh, sleeve it runs slightly short this one or small i would say so if you're in between sizes size up in this one double layered as well so it's not sheer at all but yet still really lightweight so that's my other khaki play suit that I got. This one is, it had the potential, or it still has the potential. I feel like on someone it'd be absolutely gorgeous. The piece itself is lovely. It's the pattern I think for me that's just a little bit too bold. Had it have been in a neutral color rather than the bright blue or a little less floral, then I think I would have absolutely loved it because the um, style of it's basically, it's like a wide leg jumpsuit that's really comfy but yeah i feel like if you do have any other holidays books on holidays cup sheet is the place to shop especially for swimwear because i feel like with swimwear layering on the tan not the tan or sometimes you're layering on the tan if you don't tan naturally or the sun cream and the oils and the chlorine in the pool the salt water i personally anyway at least want cheap and cheerful with my bikinis for holiday so this one is like a v-neck long but really high slit crochet dress in this really deep beige colour and then this other one in comparison is a lot lighter and thicker crochet like this one's more of a knit and it's also got bigger holes it's also shorter and it also has like a thick waistband that is really cinched in when I saw this first I thought oh I don't know if I'm gonna like that when I tried it on, I really liked it. So I think of the two, actually, this one is my favourite. But they have loads of other ones as well. Like, they're just two of many. Okay, now we get to the wild card section. I will show you just briefly these swimsuit options that they have sent me. I probably wouldn't have picked these colours out, this colour in particular. But um, nevertheless, I was, again, pleasantly surprised. So this one, actually, was the one that surprised me the most. The fit of it is lovely. I am going to see if they've got other colours, but even when, when I tried this on, I feel like, although typically I tend to stick to the neutrals, when it comes to swimwear, I get a little, a little bit more bold. 
and like like a pop of color so anyway this beautiful lilac color i saw quite a few people on instagram wear this buy this and wear this and it is lovely i like the kind of like wired v on the front it's got cups as well removable cups it's got adjustable straps really supportive they also sent me this one which the pattern's not for me, but the actual cut of the bikini, or the swimsuit I should say for this one, is really nice. It just kind of goes around your neck. Has a little kind of keyhole cut out bit on the front. Ooh, <laughs> nice. And then this one was really nice. This one's a white, this one looks quite like, it reminds me of the mum, or the stepmum I should say, in Parent Trap. Well, and the mum actually, because she's got like quite classy as well. And, like. I can imagine them in something like this. So it's a high rise swimsuit with the cup detail, but it has also got, if I can flip it around and show you, it's got a added like little belt detail. The actual swimsuit itself as well, regardless of that belt, is really nice. It's got a slight kind of croc effect, I wanna say, or giraffe maybe. Um, but the cup, the cups are like padded. They're underwired as well. So especially if you have a bigger bust, I feel like these would be really supportive. Two more swimsuits. I've got this one, which is like a halter neck again, black. It's got some mesh panels here on the side. Otherwise, just a plain and simple black swimsuit. And then lastly, this bikini, which it does have a halter neck strap, but you can remove that. So I think I would wear this with like just strapless like this. Bikini bottom is my favorite because of the fact that they're so like high rise and they're just they're so flattering the way that they've cut you off not cut you off the way that it goes so high up the leg and kind of ends on your waist rather than on your hips at least for my body shape personally I just find this cut really flattering but anyway they are the few items that I have picked up from Cupshe and again just a reminder to use my discount code Freya15 and also shop via the links which I'll leave in my description box thank you to Cupshe for very kindly working with me on this section of today's video we've had a delivery haven't we We've had four of these massive boxes arrive, so I'm gonna get them unboxed. You won't be able to tell what they are. Our dining chairs have arrived. These are from Cox and & Cox, um, and they come in a set of two. So we've got two, four, six, eight to unbox. Um, do you want to come out of there, sir? It's a bit dusty in there. It's a bit dusty in there. I'll give you a proper show around all of the rooms later, but I just feel like it's not far off being ready for us to rip up this floor and like move everything out so it'd be nice to show you in here once once we've had the chance to do that you are too cute with that polar bear seriously also tell me you own a golden retriever without telling me you own a golden retriever i'm not sure if it's showing up there but i've just had a good cuddle with him <laughs> and i'm covered in his fur because of that bit underneath right anyway should we do a little sit down comfortability test this one just wants to play yeah right three two one oh comfy i like it got a bit of a cushion to it so the toying up between this and my the bar stools that we've got. Where's he going? <laughs> the bar stools that we've got have got like a round back and they do do a dining chair version, but because there's no cushion to it, I just thought with a dining chair, I think we'd appreciate a cushion. Actually, it is the right height. Let me put you at a level 
whereby if I was eating. <laughs> I'm so excited to be able to have any balloon for dinner. Okay, that is the right height. I don't know why it looks low, but it just, I like it. So basically these chairs, they come in a set of two, which was quite good because most chairs that I found were individual. So the price of them reflects. Kind of like a, they call them linen, but they're, to me, I would say like a boucle linen because they've got a slight rough texture to them, which I love. I think if it's too perfectly smooth linen or something like the sofa material, then any kind of little marks are gonna show up. And with it being a dining chair around food, I just thought it would probably be best to get something like this with a bit more texture to it. So yeah, I love the texture and also the color. The color's beautiful. It goes perfectly with all of the kind of woodwork that we've got. It's kind of like a, an oatmeal beige. That's how I would describe it. The legs aren't the best match to the wood. That's the only thing that I would say, but had they have been black, I just feel like that might have been a bit harsh because obviously we've got the big black crittle doors which are quite a statement bold amount of black everywhere else i wanted it quite light and soft and just lots of different textures so yeah one is done it probably took me about it says on the box it'll take 15 minutes to assemble one but with two people so obviously i'm doing it by myself but yeah i would say about 10 15 minutes to do one so i've got eight to do total so i'll show you them all when I eventually get around to setting them all up. I'm probably just going to pop the TV on, catch up with some YouTube or something whilst I do it because, yeah, I feel like it's going to take me a while. But yay, I love it. So, yeah, Cox and Cox, these ones are from, and they are stunning. And then our bar stools, if you were interested, these are from Ochre. Can you hear that rain? It is so cozy. I've actually got this door open because to be honest with you, it's been nice to have a bit of a breeze coming in whilst doing these chairs and a bit of housework. Okay, so it took a lot longer than I thought it would. Sorting out these chairs, I'm not gonna lie, I was probably doing it for like two to three hours. But I was just taking my time, TV on, and now that they're in place, I think they look fab. I think they look like they've always been there, that they are meant to be there and i'm really really happy with them so yeah like i said eight is what we've gone for i feel like that's just about the right fit if we feel we want more space between the chairs we can always obviously as when we need to just pop two of them on the ends to space out those middle ones but to be honest with you i think i think that's about right we'll have to just test run it by getting a few people to sit down and see how it feels but i've just got the hoover out just been hoovering i need to mop the floors as well actually and just like zhuzh up the sofa clean up a little bit and yeah but i just wanted to show you what they look like in situ i'm so so happy with them they warm up the space a lot the only thing that i have noticed and again it's just one of those things that because it's new to me i just probably need to get used to it is if i stand back like as in all the way back here as if you're just coming into the room although now that i've turned the lights on it's not that noticeable let me turn them off and you can see slightly that the chair color and the sofa kind of clash because it makes the sofa look more cool toned. And we're obviously not about to change the sofa or the chairs to be honest with you because I think the chairs look good. But maybe, it may be something in the future that obviously this sofa is new, we're loving it now and it is a really nice color and finish but like few years down the line five years or whatever when we decide or if we have a switch over then i think i would prefer to keep those chairs and switch out that sofa but um yeah like i said i have no intentions of doing that and it's something that probably as soon as i get used to it then it's something that i'm probably not even going to notice anyway i'm just going to be it's just going to be you know like so normal but like i said with the lights on that warms up the sofa a bit. It's actually not that noticeable. I got these gorgeous roses from Tom's sister. They came over um, a few nights back for a, I was gonna say barbecue, but it, it was more like a feast that Tom cooked up in the Gosney. And I just popped them in my Tesco's Mrs. Hinch vase 
I'll just pop them on here for now but yeah they are thriving I probably could just trim a couple of the leaves off but yeah just a nice little floral edition summer floral edition in this beautiful rainy day um but yeah i'm loving the vibes in this room now that those chairs are in the table looks a lot less lost that is for sure and now we can finally start like actually hosting and doing some tablescaping and everything which is very exciting Honestly guys, each time I keep walking downstairs and seeing the new chairs, I'm like, yeah. They look they look like they belong there, which is good. I was a bit worried that the legs obviously doesn't match the wooden of the table, but it's fine. I'm, each time I go down, I'm getting used to it. I don't even notice it. And yeah, the only thing I would think about maybe doing is restyling the table a little bit in terms of this centerpiece vase. I've got that H&M one that I thrifted has a little bit of gypsy feeler in it but I feel like we could do with something a bit taller there so whether it be like a hurricane with a candle in or a taller vase or bigger arrangements something like that or the other thing that Tom actually mentioned was maybe putting like a piece of artwork on the wall that sort of divides the two crystal doors so that as you kind of look at the dining table you can see the artwork above it so yeah, there are a couple of things I'm just thinking about. But anyway, I've popped upstairs just because I've had a few PR parcels arrive. PR parcels. <laughs> I wish. A lot of these I've bought myself. In fact, all of them? No, there is one PR parcel. The rest I've bought myself. I actually bought this one. This wasn't a in the mail. This I bought in the shops recently and I just forgot to mention it. But White Company have their sales on. They had an extra 10% off. And when I went into Selfridges, Trafford Centre, their little concession there, they had loads of like... Christmassy bits in the sales, so I picked up these cards at four pound eighty. They should have been twelve pound. A set of love, wish, joy, three different card designs. So I thought I'd just pop these away for Christmas and have, yeah, some Christmas cards ready, which I know is ridiculously early, but I I have like spare Christmas cards and and like birthday cards and everything. I keep them all anyway in the storage room. I've got an area where I keep like spare cards and gift wrap gift bags and everything because i always just like to be prepared again like excuse the state of me i've got tea i'm just drinking peppermint tea and i've spilled a bit on my top i've got makeup on now just a bit of a hot mess but day at home who really cares no one's seeing me you know so i picked up some bits from a brand called nordic nest I have shopped there once before for some lights that i was going to use for above our kitchen shelves got a hair um it's not even one of mine that was one of barney's and we ended up sending well actually still got them to send back i don't even know if they're going to accept a return on those now but after seeing the jim lawrence ones that i've pretty much got all of downstairs i which they're all up actually in the downstairs room i'll show you the lights in the black room in a second um but we've put everything up now we yeah tom's just helps me put all the light bulbs in and everything so it's looking good but anyway, those lights need to go back really. So hopefully they'll accept a return. I don't know if they will or not. But anyway, picked up a few trivets for in the kitchen. So we've got a couple this size already anyway, which are more of like a teapot holder type thing. In fact, the ones that we've got, I think are slightly smaller than this that I've got from Sustrain Green. I've got two of them. So I've got this one. And then I also got two other sizes. So yeah, we've got... A few of these smaller ones now but also for the bigger pots the larger like kind of casserole pots or baking trays just to be able to have those i just thought it'd be really handy and these were all in the sale 
at literally three, four, five pounds. They were the kind of price points for that. So had to get those after Tom was pestering me for more things to put hot plates on on the island. At least he's asking me, I'm not just putting it on the island with no protection, so I can't complain. And then also just whilst I was shopping on there, let's see if I can see the price on this. No, it's not included, but it was probably just a pound or two, but these, um, like tulip kind of floral designed napkins and just convenience for like, as when we've had people over, if we've been doing picky bits or nibbles to start with, whatever, I always just have some napkins out because I feel like it's quite handy to just, if you've got finger food, just to have a napkin with you. Um, so anyway, I put them out and I've got a couple of designs now, but I thought these ones were really pretty. And yeah, neutral as well. So that's my Nordic Nest delivery. This is my 1PR package, John Frieda. And I've been using their, ooh, what did they send me? It's a new pro something range and I have been really enjoying it. I've just realized I was gonna include it in a monthly favorites. But I've thrown away the packaging because I've decanted it into my nice Aesop bottles in my shower. But anyway, I will try the, this one as soon. In fact, have I tried this one before? I feel like I've tried the Go Blonder range. Well, they had one last year that was like a lemony one. Yeah, look, there's lemons on it. Yeah, maybe I've tried this before. It's just like a new take on it. Oh my God, there's actually lemons in there and one of them is green. This is what happens, you see, if you keep a PR parcel to one side and don't open it. The rest of the lemons are fine, but one of them is furry. Okay, this, this parcel I'm very excited for. And again, all those people that are getting peed off at me for showing autumn content really early i apologize it's just a snippet and i had to get them because they were in the sale so emma bridgewater first ever time i've put in an order with emma bridgewater direct my favorite 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 all-time mug is my golden retriever emma bridgewater mug i'm a fan now i did get a cookies like a christmas mug last year i think that some of you may remember i either vlogged it or showed it on instagram dropped it smashed it gutted so that was like my like kind of christmas emma bridgewater mug so now i need to get a christmasy one i've just kind of like taught myself into that but anyway on this occasion i got an autumn one it's actually a halloween one these were in the sale i think they were reduced to the price aren't on them but i think they were reduced to six pounds in fact let me get my phone I feel like i need to tell you the prices because they were bargains and have you seen i've shown in my blogs uh, Home Sense TK Maxx now stock Emma Bridge Water mugs. They're not as good of a discount as the sale on Emma Bridge Water was. They were reduced down to like $12.99. Okay, yeah, so I got this mug, this Halloween one, for £6.50. And this is going to be very much, I've obviously got lots of autumn kind of mugs, but this is a Halloween one and it's actually the biscuits one. So my Christmas biscuits one that I had no longer have because it's smashed i've got a halloween replacement so yeah i could do with getting a festive one maybe like a different one to the cookies one but halloween cookies that was 6.50 and then to go with it at just four pound fifty i got the matching little side plate which i just thought would be perfect on halloween to have a cozy night with some cookies and hot chocolate in my halloween emma bridgewater set so yeah, this makes me so happy. And yeah, like what a bargain. For this size, it's usually 16 pounds. So yeah, four pound 50 is a bargain. I've got a new range out called Bramble, which is lovely. Again, for September time, it could be really nice. And then the half pint mugs are usually about 25 pounds. So yeah, six pound 50 that one. And then I did get one other mug, just an all year round kind of mug. Cause so again, I feel like I've got my golden retriever one for all year round, but then just to have a second one, and because I love a mug, I'm not gonna lie, I love a mug. Even to the point whereby when I had my mum over yesterday and it's a case of, which mug would you like? Take your pick. <laughs> you get to pick your own mug when you come over here. So anyway, I thought this would be fun for as and when I'm baking. If I make myself a nice hot drink to keep me going throughout baking, 
Then this is that, well, yeah, get baking range, this one. And it's just got little like spoons and whisks and forks on. So yeah, if I'm ever feeling in the mood to bake, this is my mug of choice. But that is everything that I got from Emma Bridgewater. I've got one more parcel to open before I head downstairs and share with you the updates on the, the black room, the front room. I don't know what to call it. I just keep on saying the black room, but you know, I feel like if I say the black room, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So Lakeland, this parcel is from. So a couple of bits I got. So they have confirmed that they are discontinuing my favorite washing up gloves. Not just washing up gloves, but I like these for like as and when I'm cleaning the house as well. The deluxe moisturizing gloves, I wear a medium. They do small through to extra large. And I've talked about these way too much guys you already know the drill with these so yeah I stocked up on five pairs I'm just hoping that's enough I do already have one or two pairs as well so that's going to keep me going for who knows how long until I run out and then they're not available to purchase anymore anyway I've got one of these lace edged food covers kitchen craft I just thought whilst we've been having or hosting and having food out on the island especially when the weather's nice. We always have the doors open. To be honest with you, even in a thunderstorm, we've had the doors open. I just love having that fresh air come in the house. So with fresh air, you get flies. So having food out, I just thought it'd be quite handy to, until you're actually eating the food, just have a little food cover on it. So I got one of those. And then I also picked up on one of these heavy duty double oven gloves because Tom has requested a brand new oven glove, double oven glove he wants in particular. I say Tom because he's the chef of the house, let's be real. I do the cleaning up of all the pots and the surfaces and everything and he does all the cooking because that's just what he loves to do. He actually really enjoys it. Top heat resistant up to 220, double oven glove that I'm hoping he will actually, I mean, that is going to get trashed because it's white. We'll see if it, if it protects his hands better than the other one, then it's a win. And then last but not least, I also got some baking trays. We needed some brand new fresh baking sheets. I've got like roasting trays, got plenty of those. I just am lacking on the flat baking tray front. So I got two new ones. They are dishwasher safe. That's good. Um, I've got, uh, or had, I should say, that I thought was dishwasher safe, a Yorkshire pudding tray. It's basically like a muffin case baking tray, but with slightly wider ones for bigger Yorkshire puddings. And there were six on there because when we have a roast dinner, we need at least six Yorkshire puddings between just the two of us. And I had a look on Lakeland and they do have a Yorkshire pudding tray, but only four like sections. Maybe I could just get two of those actually because then if we've got people over to, to have like eight Yorkshires between if you're hosting, I think that's enough. But anyway, I'm just going to finish sipping off this, sipping off, finish off sipping this tea, this peppermint tea, and then let's head downstairs to show you the black room updates. So I feel like this is the first kind of major update is that we have had the front door painted black. It is in like a black setting. We have got a letter plate to go on the back of there. Obviously these tiles need a major, major clean and all these bricks need like proper paint work done to them. I just kind of gave them a once over with some white um, paint, but obviously all the edging and everything needs to be finished off properly. But when the painters come back just to finish off, I'll have them do that. We're just gonna get a, um, camera doorbell for there. We have already got a camera on the outside of this house but well we've got a couple actually but we want a camera doorbell as well but yeah this is how the door's looking from the front nice and bold I will say that it is very bold I love the kind of like Victorian tiles that we've chosen it kind of is in fitting with the property and then we've got these like traditional knockers and hardware from Jim Lawrence I ordered all of these from they're in that kind of same antique brass that we've got a lot of the lights in and what else is there to show you uh, we have had a porch light fitted as well so we've got that extra light there can you just visualize the pumpkins in autumn the little mini Christmas tree at Christmas the spring wreath in spring and summer <laughs> so yeah they just need to come back finish off um, like fitting 
that letter plate doing the paint work and then refitting the rest of this flooring now they're actually just there ready to be put back on so this is what the black room is looking like if i come over this side there's barney boo so you will be able to see that we have a very dusty fireplace but um, it's all kind of like uncovered. It just needs cutting in. So all of the edges, you might be able to tell on camera. Yeah, you can kind of tell there. The actual cutting in needs doing. But the painters have said we don't need the flooring down for that, the protector flooring thing. So we can actually, we're now in a position whereby, because we've had the electrician come and do all the drilling bits and everything he needs to do, we can kind of empty this room out. We've just got loads of like paintwork, all the painters bits here. So we'll keep that for them. Apart from that, we can empty all the rest of this room out, um, ready for it to be fully cleaned. We've got a working TV. We've got the sockets and everything are now on. The lights are on. These are the, I think they're called the Morton lights from Jim Lawrence, double wall Morton lights. Love them. And then we've gone for these lampshades, these like linen shades from John Lewis in both rooms. You might be able to see the other one just through there. Again, the antique brass sockets to fit the rest of the house match it, as well as the switches, which are from, oh, there's a bit of paint on there that needs to come off. Um, these are from Corsten. They kind of age over time, this antique brass. So like if you look at them upstairs in comparison to the one down, the, the ones down here, same as these handles as well, because they're also from Corsten. You can start to see, they're like a brass bronze. So you can start to see upstairs where the wear and tear of doing this all the time is like kind of like they're looking a bit more brass which I love I love that kind of aged look they are the lampshades that we've gone for I will leave them linked below actually they were really affordable and we did think that in future maybe at some point we might get some nice chandeliers but to be honest with you with the dramatic coving ceiling roses the black walls and everything like that I think the linen just kind of softens it a lot so yeah and then in here for wall lights, we've gone for a single picture light there. Again, all Jim Lawrence. These are the same, they're called club wall light from Jim Lawrence. They are the same as the ones that we've got on our kitchen shelf and all of the lock hardware as well, just so that it all ties in. Uh, no, <laughs> you just picked up that. Um, just so that it all kind of ties in and it's the same antique brass so that it's not like mismatched, if you know what I mean. I switch them on. Picture light on there. Oh, and the bookshelf lighting there. I just love it, guys. I think it's so nice. I think in here is just going to be so cosy. When I say here, I'm talking about both of these rooms. And it's going to be quite hard to pick up on camera what it actually is like because it is black. But it's bold, but it's just so cosy. I'm going to put that piano against the wall decorate it with like a couple of candles or whatever we're going to put maybe my zara lamp in that corner and then above the piano some artwork so that is what we're thinking and then i can't wait to style up these shelves i mean they're pretty much ready now and then obviously we've got the cupboards here too i'm thinking um like lots of games and books maybe books that aren't quite as aesthetic can go in these cupboards and any other bits that we need to store away like monopolies and things but then i want to have i've got a couple that i've been kind of collecting of like wooden games that i might um oh, it's just completely blown out this camera just cannot hack the black so yeah anyway as i was saying i've got like wooden uh domino sets or cards or whatever just to kind of have out on display and not all in one area but you know just dotted around and then some coffee table books and like knick-knack faffy bits, little mini vases, photo frames. Lots of mini things though, because the shelves aren't too tall. It's not like we can have a big vase with flowers. They're sort of, I measured them out to be a single like standard coffee table book height. So that is what they're like. And obviously a lot of the coffee table books will probably have laid flat anyway, but um, yeah. That is how the black room is looking. I just wanted to come on and close off today's video here. I hope you guys have enjoyed my at home vlog, cozy vlog. Days at home are some of my favorite, honestly. 
so it's nice to spend it with you guys too but yeah i hope you have enjoyed it i also just wanted to thank cupshe for very kindly sponsoring today's video and just a reminder for you guys to take advantage of those sales that are currently on and also my discount code freya15 which will get you 15 percent off site wide on orders over 49 pounds thank you to them for sponsoring today's video i hope you guys have enjoyed today's video and i hope you have a lovely lovely rest of your day whatever it is that you are doing sending you all my love and hoping to see you very very soon in my next video bye guys